Well, we know that she is definitely the first ever woman to hold an executive position for this massive organization, the governing body of world football. Fatma Samora is a veteran diplomat of the United Nations. She's worked in the developing world for many, many years. She's 54 years old and has a lot of experience in dealing with non-governmental organizations and, and with uh, parts of, of, you know, the developing world that, that really have tremendous struggles to face. So she has that kind of experience. What she does not bring to the organization is the ability perhaps to gain television contracts and major sponsorships. That will be part of her responsibility as she takes over the helm here as the Secretary General, the first ever female Secretary General of FIFA. Now this is quite uh, quite shocking, quite news breaking uh, moment here for FIFA. It's, it's an announcement coming from the president of FIFA. Uh, Gianni Infantino says he's trying to bring a new face, a new look, a new image, and a new way of thinking to this organization, and it appears that's exactly what he's going to be able to do with this uh, naming that took place today here. In large part, the naming of this new secretary general is a step toward that, the idea of bringing in new faces, new mentalities into this organization. This, of course, is a reference to the 2015 corruption scandal in which millions and millions of dollars traded hands, and it seemed like some of that was payoffs that took place in unethical ways. The previous president, Seth Blatter, was, of course, ousted from the organization, and he's not allowed to return for another six years. And so uh, FIFA finds itself in a very critical moment now. Some sports Sports commentators have told me that they believe this is actually a crisis moment for FIFA and so the organization is trying to step forward. There's going to be an announcement of a number of different policies put forward to try to bring more transparency to this organization and that of course will come down to decisions made by the new person who will be overseeing the organization, Fatma Samor.